This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard with her OXO omelette turning spatula and a canvas that needs to be used up. And this is part one because I want to do a background. And in this background, I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, I am going to just spread colors that I will swipe. And that will be that. So we'll see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to have any problem covering what I've got there. I'm not entirely sure of that yet. I'm hoping what I do isn't completely hideous, but um, I think it'll be all right. I have some silver. Ooh, I had some silver. Ah, it's time to either make some new silver or give this bottle up to the next phase, which is mixing Arteza paints which came in the mail recently. Thank you, Arteza. And I will uh, be doing something with them shortly. Mixing up lots of them and creating art with them. I didn't put any yellow out here, strangely enough. I guess I'm just going to go for the gold instead. Now what I've been doing to make my backgrounds is adding colors like this and swiping them. But what I want to really do is to continue what I've been doing, which is to start halfway across. Because that leaves me a substantial amount of paint on my spatula. And as long as I have that substantial amount of paint on my spatula, then I can do it again. Now one of these times I'm just going to get a painting that's so cool that I can't possibly make, force myself to use it for something else. But right now that's not happening yet. Not to say that this won't be that one. <laughs> because it could be. I'm just going to let the paint that's falling down over the sides become, ooh, that's pretty, become fodder for the sides to cover the edges with my finger. I'm going to do that. See, if I start halfway across and then I head to the other side, then I have a substantial amount of paint on my canvas. Except for at this end, I could have used a little more because I would like to be able to cover the edge, the end. But I can do that tomorrow, since everything will be dry, and I can start again, assuming that I don't keep it just like it is. I can't really assume anything with me, because I change my mind frequently. So that's pretty cool. That's just basically the simplest swipe possible. I don't use any silicone. I'm going to want to look for some paint to cover my edge. Maybe this paint. No, I think this paint is just going to go right here. And this might be the shortest part one ever. And I'm just using my OXO omelet turning spatula, available on my Amazon link with my book, because I can. Uh, right below the video is the Amazon link. At no added cost to you, you can shop there, and it helps me out every time you do so. A little bit. I'm going to take all of the paint off my fresh, clean tile, put it down on the canvas, and use it to add to the paint I already have there. And my edges are almost covered. Wow, that's cool, because I wasn't sure that that was going to be the case at all. So that's kind of pretty. And uh, we'll see if I want to use that for a background tomorrow, or if I'm just going to call it good. Because that's neat. I like it. Let's knock some paint off here again. And see if I can make sure I have no canvas showing anywhere. That would be preferable. Okay, so I think... What would be good, excuse me, what is to not drag my fingernails through the painting. Yeah. Okay. Is to take the, uh, the torch and release any of the bubbles. Not that I think there are that many bubbles once you've uh, spatulated the surface so thoroughly. I really want to blow some of that paint over the edge or see if I can. We could just blow all kinds of ways. But it is really meant to be just a background. Or at least the first stage of something 
else. I just think I could probably swipe in the opposite direction if I wanted to tomorrow or whenever I get back to this. I have a few little pieces of canvas I don't really want to see. But it's abstract art at this point, so I'm going to worry less and anticipate more. Although I really want some more of that purple over there to cover that schmutzy non-event. Which I am just going to pick up and blow. Because I can. Cool. Better. I don't know what that is. That is not a bubble. That is something that does not belong. And I think a skewer got to get some tweezers out here. I had some, and then I don't know what I did with them. So let's... Let's be okay with that. <laughs> and let's do the same thing we just did on the other side over here. And since I have all of these colors handy, and I want that spot colored. Covered? Not colored. <coughs> well, yeah, I want it colored too, but... Just to blend it. As long as it's thick, you can get away with sticking your fingers in it. After it's not thick anymore, not so much. But since I have that paint on my finger, I'm going to stick it someplace I need. I think it needs to go. I see for me that I have canvas right at the bottom of this. That did not work. So, I'm just going to give it a double layer. Yes, and it is working this time somewhat better than the last time. So I have a, a black bottom edge and that's not bothering me. And I said I was going to torch. I don't know what we're going to get. A torch to release the bubbles in the paint and to release patterns because there's flow troll. And in my case, Decor Pouring Medium and GAC 800 in the mixes. So I'm thinking in places where the canvas is showing a little bit, maybe tomorrow is the best time. If I like it the way it is, I can throw the colors that were here back on. Or fix them now. <laughs> I can't keep my fingers out of them. Anyway, so this is whatever it is, this is stage one. We're done. <laughs> but probably stage one. And I don't know what that is, but it does not belong either. And that means that I'm going to fix that as well, because... You have to be very delicate. Once you've heated up the surface of the paint, it's pretty much a lot gooier and stickier and uh, a lot harder to hide indiscretions. As long as it's wet, you've got a good shot at it, but after it's been heated and it starts to congeal, not so much. All right, so that's dark purple right there, and because I'm here and it's there and it's in my hand and I want to do this, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Go figure. I do stuff because I can. And I have enough experience to get away with it most of the time. And wet paint flows to wet paint, even though some of this paint is no longer as wet as I wish it was. Um, you know what? I got one more edge to cover, and since we're still, both still here, I'll tell you, at the end of this video, you will see end screens, and on them will be playlists of over 450 videos. So if you like what I do, there's plenty more to see. And please go watch some. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the people who contribute to keep me painting all the time and let everybody know that there's always a contest running for anybody who contributes through PayPal or Patreon. Those links are both in the description below the video and on my YouTube header. And if your name is drawn, you have a choice of which artworks I put into the contest. You can choose the one you want. In February there were four. I would generally think there are going to be three. I don't know what size it's going to be every month, 
it's probably not going to return to a 16 by 20 anytime too soon because shipping is just a pain that's it which reminds me i do sell my artwork and uh, should you be interested in buying anything please just let me know on youtube on comments and i will get right back to you as soon as i can and uh We'll have a chat. I'll give you an email address. And that'll be that. We'll figure it out from there. I've got edges to to cover, to, to touch up, and um, I'm not minding how it's working out. I think I might wind up doing some of this tomorrow. But that's, that is what it is, and it's uh, sort of beautiful as it is. Although I could use some black over there. See, I'm incapable of stopping. And I'm going to take that with the purple that's in it. In spite of the fact that it's somewhat set up. Because I want it to blend right now. Even if it's not perfect. I want it to blend better than it's blending. And usually I'd tell you I could pounce my spatula, but that didn't work very well either. I am going to remove that bug. And realize that this is definitely little black fly season, and um, I got to be aware of that before I come out here, because there's another one. I wish you guys would get out of my paintings. So this is Priscilla Batzel in a hurry to get away from the bugs in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio going, I love you guys, but uh, I don't love bugs that much. And uh, wherever they land, they leave a little mark. But since this is a background, I'm going to try not to freak out too bad. And uh, it might just be the whole painting. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.